If you want to learn about how to improve the organizational participation balance in your open source projects, this presentation and practitioner guide is for you. If you haven't already watched the first presentation in this series, I recommend that you pause now and watch the video for part one, the practitioner guide introduction. We don't always spend enough time thinking about how organizational participation impacts the sustainability of open source projects. So you should also look at organizational diversity as part of the health and risk for open source projects. If all or most of the contributions are from the employees of a single company, what happens when that company has a shift in strategy or gets acquired or runs out of money and goes out of business? Would the project be able to continue if the company pulled all of its employees out of the project? These single vendor open source projects might not seem risky, but they can quickly become unviable after a licensing change or when everyone just stops working on the project. The biggest challenge with identifying trends for organizations and open source projects is that the organizational affiliation data is almost never accurate enough to use without doing at least some manual cleanup. This example is actually relatively clean compared to some others, but you can still see that about 20% of the contributors aren't matched to organizations. If most of the work is being done by employees who work at a single company, the project might be riskier to use and harder to contribute to than a project with contributions that are spread out over many organizations with no single organization being dominant. If you work for that dominant company, you might want to focus on getting contributors from some other companies. This is all described in more detail in the practitioner guide linked on this slide, along with some thoughts on cleaning up organizational affiliation data. So I encourage you to go ahead and read that full guide. I hope this helps you use metrics to improve the organizational participation balance of the open source projects that you care most about. And I hope you'll also enjoy the other videos in this practitioner guide series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around the chaos community.